Hi, this is Holly Shantara. I have really wanted to connect through writing a newsletter or putting out a video for months, and I've not been able to because I've been in a transformational process about being super authentic, and that meant not doing anything I didn't feel like doing. And not feeling from being lazy, but feeling from my connection. So I'm finally able to do this. I'm a little winded. I'm in New Zealand. I don't know if you can see the beautiful mountains behind me. At the Novotel Hotel on a life list adventure project with 32 other entrepreneurs, speakers, coaches, messengers. And we are really here to put our message out in a big way and connect with others. And the reason why it's important for me to post right now is because this is what I want for you to be able to take what's in your heart and soul and be able to express that. So one of the things that we're doing on this trip is we are presenting at the Inspire Festival for the Sophie Elliott Foundation. And the purpose of this particular festival to support Sophie Elliott Foundation is to increase awareness about unconsciousness in relationships. Sophie Elliott was a 22-year-old gal that was with her partner for five months and when she decided to break up with him to go on to college, he murdered her in a really horrific way. And so they are putting on this incredible event and we get to participate in this event. So let me be clear, this is happening in Dunedin, New Zealand. And the Inspire Festival is part of the Life List project that we are doing. The Life List people are the ones that are creating a documentary and a book and an app for messengers. And this is the end of a four year project they've been working on. So they did Liberia, they did Costa Rica, and New Zealand is their last leg. So the Inspire Festival is part of the collaboration that the Lifeless Project people are doing with putting on through Inspire to support the Sophie Elliott Foundation and we're gonna be presenting at the Bar Stadium. So along with 32 entrepreneurs, I'm doing an eight minute speech. It's gonna be on Facebook Live and I the link is here. I'm putting this on my, my e-news. So you're welcome to tune in. And then I'm doing a 90 minute workshop the next day. And you can go to this link, Inspire Live Online, to be able to see who the presenters are. And there might be some really interesting things that you wanna participate in. Anyway, I'm in this beautiful place, Queenstown, New Zealand. Uh, came a couple days earlier. I don't know if you could see the mountains in the background. This is the land of the Lord of the Rings. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful here. I'm in the hotel because we're about to go on a dart jet boat ride as part of our fun and adventure for our day here and then we are going to head out and uh, meet with Amari tribe tomorrow evening and get initiated into this land. We also are doing some human humanitarian work on this trip where we're installing water filters to tribes and areas that don't have clean water. That's something else we're doing. So for me, the reason why I went on this trip and really invested in a big way in time and energy and money was because the calling in me, and I want you to see if you recognize it in yourself, the calling in me is so strong to be able to share authentically what the divine is bringing through. Because the world is cray cray right now, and we, we need examples of uh, conscious leaders. I re-edited my book with the help of Mary Gordon. You've got to check out, she's somebody who mentored with me and now she's just such an incredible ally. She has magicandhope.com. Um, she's transformed her life as a longtime AT&T operator and she retired and her journey of knowing that there's more but not knowing what that more is, she's transformed and she, now she does these incredible tarot readings and she's very tuned in person, but she re-edited my book, Live Like a Life Star, and it's now up on my website at the Success Store, so please do check it out. I feel like I can really stand behind it now where before I couldn't. 
and there was a lot of prep work that went into this trip but the calling really is the divine is saying stand up show examples of good leadership right now because there's some really faulty examples of leadership but it's part of what is needing to be cleansed it's part of what's waking up the last leg of um, sleeping people <laughs> you know we can all have compassion for that so our trip is going now but I send you lots of love please tune in to this Dunedin festival if you'd like and the link is here and I return back to Maui on May 15th but I'm not working with clients for three weeks and uh, I'd love to hear from you anyway though I'll be checking my email so take care lots of love and aloha namaste